Hey, Omis, welcome into Om Yoga. This is our Power Vinyasa Core Flow. If you have a block, great. If you don't, it's totally fine. We're gonna be getting into some fun variations today, really working into our core center. Let's go ahead and begin in child's pose. So let's start with the feet at the back, knees wide, lower the forehead to the floor as you extend your arms forward. Connect in with our breath. Wherever you are, take a nice audible exhale out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Again, just like that, in through the nose. Out the mouth. Go ahead and seal your lips and allow the breath to move in and out through the nose if you can. Okay, we're going to inhale, lift the forehead up. And as we exhale, walk over to the left, lower the forehead down to the floor. And think here about dropping the right shoulder towards the mat, pressing the right hip back. Breathing through the side body here. And then let's inhale, lift up. As you exhale, walk over to the right, lower the forehead down. Now we're going to focus the left armpit towards the floor as the left hip sits back to the heel. Inhale, come back through center. Let's go ahead and press up into our tabletop pose. Take a moment here. Drop the belly, gaze forward, lift the tailbone, come into your cow. And we're going to exhale, press the mat away for cat. Again, cow. Cat. And press back, downward facing dog. You can keep your knees slightly bent here. You can also work the heels towards the floor. Maybe find some movement if that feels good. Come back to stillness wherever you are. We're going to inhale, glide forward to plank, shoulders over wrists, belly strong. And exhale, press back to down dog. Again, inhale, lift up, glide forward to plank, pull the belly in. And exhale, press back to down dog. I want us to think here about hiding the tailbone as we come into our plank. Inhale, lift up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, glide forward to high plank. Belly is strong. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Let's exhale and open the hip a moment. Press the chest back towards the knee. And then we're going to step forward into our runner's lunge. Back heel spins down to a 90 degree. We're going to open into our warrior two. Getting straight into our flow today. I want us to focus the right knee over the second and third toe, arms extend. I want us to think here, we're focused on core today. So I want us to think, lift the pelvic floor, draw the belly in. Inhale to hinge forward. We're gonna exhale to our supported side angle. You can adjust your stance if you need to. Continue to press the right knee open. Moving on, we're going to inhale Utita, bring the left arm over the head, bicep in line with the ear. This is where the core kicks in. Y'all ready? <laughs> we're going to extend the bottom arm. If this isn't accessible for you, you're going to stay in your supported side angle and you can just move through without Dewey Hasta. Otherwise, both arms forward. Now we're going to inhale, reverse, stay low in the front knee. Exhale forward. Feel as though you have a beach ball. You can use your block. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, forward. Again, inhale, reverse. And we're gonna exhale, release down. Find your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. Second side, left leg, take it up. Open the hip. And then we're gonna exhale to runners. Back heel spins down, open warrior two. So we take a moment in our first round to settle into the body. Open the left knee, belly is strong. Think about moving from the center of your body today. So inhale, hinge with an engaged core. Exhale, supported side angle. But rather than just completely sinking in, I want us to lift out through the belly. Inhale, right arm over. You can stay or find your Dewey Hasta. Left arm forward. Again, activate. Feel as though you're holding on to something. Move from the center. We're gonna inhale, reverse. Exhale forward, reverse, stay low in the knee, forward, again, reverse, and we're going to exhale, release it down, chaturanga or cat and cow, we meet in down dog. You also have the option to press back to down dog, but I want us to think today, even in our movement, engage the core, lift the hips to come to down dog. We have our flow. If you want to add on the block, you can. You're going to inhale, right leg up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. You can still go supported if you want. Inhale, utita, left arm over. Exhale, maybe you use your block. Find your Dewey Hasta, nice and strong. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, forward. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Forward and release. Breathe to down dog. Left leg, take it up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, Utita, right arm over. Exhale, bring the block up if you have it. Inhale, reverse, stay low on the front knee. Exhale, forward. Reverse, forward, reverse, forward and release, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Last time through, inhale, right leg to the sky, exhale, lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, Utita. Exhale, block. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. We're gonna go one more time. Forward. Reverse. And release. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, last side through, left leg take it up, lunge, open warrior two, exhale, side angle, inhale Utita, exhale Dewey Hasta, Stay well on the front knee, reverse, forward, reverse, 
forward, reverse, forward last time, reverse, release, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, look forward on your inhale, exhale, have a seat, okay, so this was the second most requested class. <laughs> Y'all ask for it, this is what you get. Okay, so again, we're focused on our center, but I want us to remember that our core is not just this six pack that people think of when they think of our core. It literally wraps around your entire body and it includes strong glutes, strong quads. Okay, um, for this, you can use the block. Um, but I'm also gonna give you options in case this isn't where you're supposed to go. We're gonna come into a wide forearm plank. Okay, so arms in an 11, elbows under shoulders. You can come into Sphinx pose first if you want. Take your feet out wide, offer stability, and then you're gonna lift up. So with this in our any kind of plank, we don't want the tailbone up, we want it down. So we want to hide the tailbone, okay? I've heard the term, very much used in yoga of tuck. <laughs> and then my personal trainer um, gave me the cue of hide and it, for whatever reason, shifted it for me in a way that I haven't felt before. So that's why I'm now changing to hide. <laughs> All right. So in our forearm plank, we're gonna rock forward and back. Okay, if that's not where you need to be today, you can come into your sphinx pose and hold it. You can also just stay in a forearm plank and hold. You can also drop to the knees and lift the feet, all right? Wherever you are, let's go ahead and lift together, all right? Hide the tailbone. And then we're gonna rock forward, back, and just go. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Walk the knees in. Go ahead and press back to a child's pose for a moment. You can even bring your hands back behind you. Get a stretch for the shoulders. Or a rest for the shoulders, I should say. And then go ahead and come up. The next thing we're gonna do is a half Turkish get up. So I'll show you this really fast. You can use your block, but again, you really, you don't have to use a block today at all, um, but if there is an option. Okay, so you're gonna lay down, you're gonna take your block or just your right hand up and your right knee is bent. Your left leg is gonna come out to about a uh, 45 degree angle, and then your left hand is gonna come down, kind of in line with the leg, okay? Then we lean and we come up, okay? If that's not where you need to be today, you can just chill. All right, <laughs> here we go, okay? Belly is in and strong. Inhale and exhale, come up. Lower. I want us to go with control. We're not looking to rush through these. Two more. So we'll have done four on each side. Last one for the right hand and lower. Okay, then we're going to switch. So this time, the left knee is bent, left arm is up and straight. So if you don't have your block, your wrist and knuckles goes directly up to the ceiling. And then you're gonna take your right leg out to a 45 degree angle as your right arm comes out to a 45 as well. Shoulders back and down, take an inhale and exhale, come up. Usually we have one side that feels quote unquote weak. So whatever side that is for you, start on that side. Come up, 
And if you're just figuring out now, oh wait, the right side feels a little more weak, then next time switch. Come up. Okay, last time. Up. And lower down. Go ahead and set your block to the side for a moment. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then we're going to move into our last core section before we come down. <laughs> All right. So if you don't have a block, you're, well, any, everybody legs up. If you don't have a block, you're going to just do this without a block and it's totally fine. If you have your block, take it and place it in between the ankles. So not where the ankle bone is, just above. Okay, and then everybody, lock your low back to the mat. So you're gonna draw the navel in. It's almost like you're lifting the tailbone and that just secures your low back to the mat. Squeeze your legs together, okay? Arms up. We're gonna inhale to open. You can go 45 degrees, you can go 90 or towards the floor. Then we're gonna exhale, draw in, grab the block, switch. Open, close, open, close. Belly is strong, open, close, open, close, open, close. Keep going. Belly strong. You can even make an out. So you open to close. One more open, close, grab the block, <laughs> draw the knees to your chest. Let's go ahead and rock forward and back. We're gonna come into a lazy up dog. You can step your way there. You can vinyasa your way there. Okay, and then once you are in your lazy up dog, that should feel good. <laughs> We're stretching the abdominals, shoulders away from the ears here though. We're gonna look over the right shoulder, lift the right knee, and then come back through center. Look over the left shoulder, lift the left knee. Whew. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. And we're gonna exhale, half pigeon if that's not accessible. Come on your back and thread the needle. Remember that your practice is about what you need, not what your teacher is doing in class, whether that be online or in person, not about what the person next to you is doing. And when we move from our core center, this is our Manipura chakra, our solar plexus, and it is about our personal power, willpower, intellect. But it's also where anger, frustration, and resentment reside. <laughs> so sometimes as we work the core, those emotions can come up. Actively squeeze the inner thighs here. Go ahead and walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest, press back down dog. Right leg, take it up. Half pigeon or you are on your back and you're gonna switch the thread of your needle. Lift the heart, lift the chest and fold. Okay, adjust your feet if you need to. Squeeze the inner thighs. And then gently fold down if you can to the ground. If not, it's totally okay. Remember that the depth that you take it is where you need to be. Listen to the body and do your best to keep it even on both sides. <laughs> Okay. 
gently walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest, press back to down dog. And we're gonna gently lower down to the knees. Let's go ahead and have a seat on the shins. We're gonna close today with our hands to the tops of our thighs. Take a moment to let the energy settle. And find yourself to a seat at the top of your mat. And once there, hands to heart center, gaze down to the fingertips or close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips, may our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, this was our power vinyasa core flow. Let me know. It was second most requested. Do you want to see more? Also, if you haven't heard the news yet, Om Yoga is launching our membership website and it will open on October 1st. If you're hearing this after that, it's already open. Go check out the link below. You're going to get full length classes with me, two pre-recorded brand new a month of an hour, one live with me a month, as well as two other classes and a whole lot more. So if you're interested, be sure to hit the links below. You can join the wait list. But if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and join me every Saturday for a brand new free flow. See you soon, Omis.